Assalamu alaikum, this is me Mahdi, as you guys know, well, hopefully you guys know, I'm with Bilal. Bilal what? Khan. From? Lee John Films. Alhamdulillah. Alright, um, me and him have been talking for quite a while on the issue of Muslims, in not just entertainment in America or in the West, but Muslims trying to make it into the mainstream form of entertainment or the mainstream quote-unquote entertainment, meaning that, yes, we want to entertain, but at the same time, it is a business. We have to think with business sense. We have to seek goals, establish goals, and try to attain those goals. Now, I have my vision, he has his vision, and we believe that if we combine brains and heads and ideas and concepts together, then hopefully, inshallah, God willing, we will come up with a good game plan that will hopefully make anybody that wants to follow the trend of Muslims, not just Muslims in entertainment, but Muslim entertainment, much more successful, especially uh, given it that we're in the West, we're in America, we're in the UK, or, or wherever we are in the West, and many of our audience, our audience members or people that view our videos and movies and whatnot happen to be non-Muslim. Now, uh, if you were to remember in the 80s, the Cosby Show did a lot for the image of what people consider as uh, African Americans or black people, where a lot of people were surprised that there were a family that, that were doctors and that were that were doing things and they were funny and they were being you know normal people, but could we could Muslims do that with our movies and through videos or whatever that we like to do? Could, could we dispel myths, uh, dispel misconceptions? Could we quote unquote appear to be mainstream in in, in this in this society? So, what are your views, basically, on Muslims in entertainment and Muslim entertainment? Okay, well, there's, there's two ways that you, we can look at it. We can look at it um, through understanding um, mainstream and understanding uh, uh, the, the niche audiences, mm -hmm. right? Even within mainstream, there are niche audiences, okay? Mm -hmm. Can we consider black entertainment mainstream? Depends. Uh, in general, it is because the world embraces hip hop culture. Okay. It embraces black movies like Barbershop. Okay. Uh, but initially, initially when BET first started up, uh, what like just as an example, yeah. BET, uh, would that be considered uh, mainstream at the time? No. Okay. But now it is considered entertainment because they have taken that very culture and made it a part of American society. Correct. Okay. Cool. So, with that understanding, can a niche become part of something that's mainstream and still remain a niche? Yes, and okay. I'll tell you why. Because for one, I, mean, I was just I was just using that as a follow-up. Oh, you question. just asked a follow-up yeah. question. Okay. So I mean, just as a follow-up question. So if 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 a niche becomes mainstream, can it can it still remain a niche? The answer is yes. Yeah. So uh, with that understanding, now th this goes back to uh, looking at what marketing is, what business is. Now, business and marketing is all about catering to people and being different at the same time. Now, once the, when 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 the people on a larger scale embrace a uh, a very unique idea or very unique concept, uh, thus making it more profitable. It still remains a niche, and thus it can it becomes even more profitable than it was in the past. All right. Now this goes. Now this. What what are the elements that led to uh, black entertainment, as an example, to becoming uh, to becoming something that was embraced within the American culture and society? There are a number of factors that we can look into. I don't think now is a good time to actually lay out those yeah. uh, the specific factors. It's in this class, right? This class. Just... But I'm just saying, as, as food for thought, understand all the factors that lead to a society embracing a certain culture, a certain idea, a certain certain concept, uh, so and, a group of people, right? Or even a group of people that make it part of that very society, yeah. right? Just like in, in, in uh, can we say Amish? Okay, can we say that Amish are not American? Of course, they're American. Okay, the very the whole very idea of that Amish, they are very American. Essentially, they're part of American culture. They're part of American uh, society, and to, for us, for anyone to say that they're not American is totally like bogus, right? Similarly, but it took time for that to take place. Initially, they thought they were weird, correct? Well, a lot of people still think. They well, are yeah, okay. Weird. Initially, they thought they were like out, you know, outsiders yeah, yeah. or whatnot. But they became part of American society. Black people. Okay, they're very cultured, they're very society. They were looked upon as outsiders, but they were embraced within the cultural society through time, through different factors that led to it. Similarly, when it comes to Muslim media, okay, or not even Muslim media, Muslims in general, yeah. Islam, okay, are there trends that are currently taking place w in which, di throughout different areas in the United States, 
that those specific aspects of Islamic culture and, Islamic, and, and Muslim society are becoming part of the American culture in those areas among people that are not Muslim? Well, it depends on who you talk to. I've t I talk to a lot of people. I could actually pass for a quote unquote a non Muslim. I could walk down the street where there's a protest by mainly Muslims. Mm -hmm. And make and people would say bad comments about Muslims without knowing that I'm a Muslim. Now, getting back to your question, in general, I see that after 9/11, there has been an awareness of what Muslim and, and Islam is in the media, often negative. Often I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to get to the media just at this point. Okay. But the people, you're by, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting back. Speaking, even yeah. like, are there segments within the United States? Uh, um, Within areas of the United States, within that, areas that, that that I mean, are or are there trends within areas of the United States? Not you know wholly, but within the United States, areas of the United States where certain aspects of uh, of uh, Islamic culture and, and Muslim identity is being embraced by those people who are not even Muslim. Maybe in the college campuses, in the college campuses, for example, that. There's a tendency to be more open-minded. Okay, and more so embracing. so we, so so we got the college campuses, right? Yeah. Okay. Are there any other places that we can think of? In some workplaces. Okay, workplaces. Yeah. Okay. Workplaces. Some workplaces. Like I pray at work, and people say, "Oh, okay, it's time to pray," and, and they respect me for that, and they. Well, th 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 that that is still looking upon it from people understanding something that they're Muslim. But are there any concepts that are being accepted within among non-Muslims? The fact that we believe in God, whether it's with a capital G, with a capital A, L, L, A, H. That's too general. I'll, like, I'll, 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 some yeah. areas in Philly, for example, you'll find that some of the, uh, some of the people yeah. within that society are adopting the clothing style yeah. that, that some of the Muslims have, uh, have selected to wear. Even the language, like uh, ak Aki or Aki. I heard people that were non-Muslim, not wearing, not only with the beard and the shaved mustache and the uh, pants above the ankles, but even saying Aki or Achi. Okay, so we got some of the language being adopted. Yeah. We got some of the uh, clothing being adopted. Even non-Muslims are starting to keep beards yeah. within within those certain segments of society. True. We see this trend is happening already. Now, usually a trend that and something that's popular before it gets to the tipping point, it starts in small areas. Correct. Right? Now. BET starting up was something that was happening in a small area. It was just one channel that yeah. that, that got picked up. But generally, they uh, they they were communicating and they were telling stories that fundamentally, although it was very niche, yeah. was something that people wanted to watch. Right now, as the trend time passes, these trends will continue to grow. Okay, and even in American society, more and more people you ask, and they ask about the way Muslims are looked upon. Yeah, in some places in the United States, they'll be like, yeah, Muslims are like, terrorists, this and that. But in, in, the, uh, in the more educated states, in the more educated places of America, people will understand, yeah, the way that they're showing Muslims is horrible. Okay, even in the news media, how they're, how they're looked upon, the terms that they use. So people, and, and you see this trend, it's growing. Okay, and the acceptance towards, even among the clothing culture. Okay, mm -hmm. among even in hip hop, and you, you see even college students and, uh, and and young people, the fashion they're starting to wear the uh, kifaya, the you know the the, the yeah. red and white and yeah, black and white here. checkered yeah. scarf. Mm -hmm. the, the, and this is a lot, you know, it's factored due to the things that are happening, you know, overseas in areas like Palestine and places. Yeah. So and people are trying to, and people are trying to speak out about those things. So a lot of these cultures are slowly these trends are building now. It is upon the building of these trends that people will see, you know what, maybe there's some money to be made, okay, with the understanding of these trends. Money in the form of fashion, okay, money in the form of foods, money in the form of uh, entertainment, mm -hmm. all right. Now, what's, one, what, what's a trend that certain marketing people have currently looked at? Last year, Muslims made up of about $170 billion of spending, mm -hmm. okay. If money is not a big enough motivator for non-Muslims to uh, look upon us as a uh, as a means of uh, good virtue, then I don't know what is. Okay. Yeah. Generally, money mo uh, people are money motivated. There's a capitalist society. Sure. People are money motivated. When they see 170 billion dollars being spent on stuff, perhaps there would be something more to spend. Now, generally, everything in this country, when it comes to communications, media, and entertainment, is a business. Okay. Now the thing is, will 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 there be a positive view of Muslims being pushed in mainstream media over time? Absolutely, I totally believe it.